Oak Park River Forest Museum Saturday for a free walk-up show. Photojournalist Kevin Dolman has a sneak peek on this weekend's festivities. Take a look. There's my baby. And I always just like this picture because it's got our house in there, uh, you know, an 1890s Queen Anne house here in Oak Park. And at that time, I had three cars. The last car in the back is this 39 Pontiac station wagon. I'm just going to snap this on here. The uniqueness of these cars. This is a bygone era. I love an opportunity to get these old cars out and show them. Any kind of old cars, especially cars like this, they bring a smile to people's face. How could they not? Beautiful day in Oak Park. It's like the underside of a canoe. It's like driving a canoe upside down. People love old things. I don't take them to the grocery stores, but you and I left my house in, in Oak Park and went to... Uh, what side do you want? You want forehand? Oak Park Tennis Club on Harlem and Lake Street. I parked it there for, uh, you know, a little over an hour while I was playing tennis. I'm more into driving the cars than I am into getting them to perfection, like museum quality. Uh, that, there's no fun in that. So this is my 1942, the brochure calls it an extra special station wagon. There's only four of these cars known to exist right now. There may be some of them still in a barn somewhere. I love the grill and, and the long sleek hood. This car drives like a dream. I've had this on the expressway. People's reaction to me driving a car like this, it's pretty spectacular. Honking and waving and thumbs up. This is a wood body. The body is ash, mahogany panels. You've got to see the bottom of the roof of this car. There's a picture of my dad. I believe that was in the uh, Tribune in 1960. That's the car people always ask about. Do I still have the Model T? I tell people, this is the most famous car in the world. Not this car per se, but the Model T, because that's the car. The Model T is the car that put the world on wheels. So you're going to look at this monster of an engine, 20 horsepower. There's the gas tank, 12 gallons right underneath the driver and the passenger. So here's your air conditioning. Oh yeah, oh baby. <coughs> the original horn on the car. <coughs> One of the things people really enjoy in our collection is a 1918 automobile directory. It actually lists every automobile owned by Oak Park residents in 1918. They literally published like a phone book. Uh, it was a directory of all the automobiles that were in the community. So it shows you how much in that first decade, that first 20 years of America's love affair with the automobile, that there really was a sense of that would be cool to know all of the cars in town or who owns what car. And that's something that's kind of odd to us. We don't really think like that anymore. But remember, a much smaller percentage of people had cars. Not a lot of people know this, but Madison Street in Oak Park was the West Suburban automobile role. So we have an incredible volunteer named Ken Cinco who's doing a PowerPoint show that's gonna show like ads for those car dealers. And some of the same cars will be in the show that you'll be able to see like an ad inside. Cars are really kind of cultural touchstones to different eras. Isn't that great? And he had the perfect hat to go with the, to go with the car. Oh, and he was great. Did you, uh, 
Catch the license plate on that wooden car. It said no mites. Yeah, clever, no, clever. No termites. <laughs> there you go. Very clever. You can check out all the cars at the Oak Park River Forest Museum. The free walk-up show is on Saturday from 10 in the morning mm -hmm. to 1 p.m. I had a 1989 Pontiac Sunbird, mm, I think it was. It's a little newer. Was. It's just a little newer. It didn't quite <laughs> run as well as those. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, it was definitely a bygone era that's mm -hmm. not quite bygone yet. Cool story by Kevin Dolman. Yeah, all right, let's go to Demetrius. You, you love cars, too.